My name is Paul Chelimo. My favorite ice cream is vanilla ice cream. Finally <laughs> got somebody else like chocolate. Everybody says like chocolate. chocolate. Oh, right. vanilla. So like yeah, it's, it was great experience, you know, like going into the Olympics, going in as the underdog and coming out successful with a silver medal. That was really great because what I did, what I done in training was no joke, you know. I trained really hard for that and I prepared really well. So I was just happy with, with, with the outcome of the event and I was just excited. The US Army has been there for me uh, through, through thick and thin, you know, like, uh, so for example, I would say like United States, you know, first of all, United States, this is a country that took me from Kenya. They paid for my scholarship for four years. You know, that's something you can never take for granted. You know, there's no other country out there right now that I can tell you they can give you a four year, full four year scholarship to go to college. You know, the uh, United States made my dream come true. So, the only way I could give back to the United States is during the army. You know, I'm ready to die for the United States. I'm ready for whatever happened, but I'm, re I'm just ready to support and defend the United States. It's so intense, you know, like JDL, it's, I consider North Carolina to be my own town because uh, I've spent most years in the United States and North Carolina. So I, actually coming back here was one of the main things, just come back and represent and, and make, I will say make my people back in North Carolina happy, you know, because it's, it's only like 30 minutes away from UNCG to, to, not, to JDF fast track. So I wanted to come out here, represent and, and I know it's going to be it's gonna be packed tomorrow. A lot of people are gonna come in, come there and come out and watch me. So, so I just don't want to disappoint. If I don't feel good, I don't go to the mouth because they they always expect I have to win, man. So. You know, running is my life. You know, with no running, I'm done. You know, that's why when I go out there at the track, I don't play games. I go out there and, and, and fight really hard because I depend on running. Without running, I would never be where I am today. Without running, I would never be in the United States. So running is my life. Running is a way of me of running. I'm not running away from people. I'm just running away from troubles, you know? Tomorrow if I win, I'm not running away from my competitors. I'm just running away from troubles and trying to make my life better. So, yeah. I don't know, according to my thinking, I would say running is it's 70% physical, how you prepare, and the other 30% is mental, you know? And that's something you can never be given by your coach, by anyone. It's something that is inside you, you know? You have to, you have to be prepared well mentally. So if you go into a race with no confidence, and going into a race and thinking you ain't gonna win it, you're never gonna win it. But if you have a mentality that you're gonna win or defeat, or fight for the win. That's how that's it just becomes easier that way. So I've in my life I've gone to races whereby I go to races with different mentalities, you know, thinking that hey it's gonna be hard, you know, like all these people, it's really frustrating and I don't do good. But races that I go like with all the confidence and everything, I just come out successful. For example, Olympics, I came from nowhere to somewhere. So it's it's just about like running, it's just happy, it's just mental, so. Yeah, you know, winning a race is something you never take for granted, you know. Winning a race is not, it's not so easy, you know. Because these situations, have, have, these situations that have been beat just at the line, thinking that you're winning the race, but just at the line, somebody nips you off and that's the end of everything. And that's the beginning of frustrations, you know. So when I go into races, I just don't take for granted. I always make sure that I have a good distance and I'm sure I've locked the whip so that so that I can celebrate, you know. It's it's just like it's sword breaking just getting beat at the line. So that's why like when I come out like successful winning a race, it's just it's something that makes me realize my dreams are coming true and all that, that I put in training is it's all coming up like coming out successful.